What better way to get to know your county's elected officials than over a nice meal? From the state level to the county and local officials, all were invited. Because we can find out the issues that they may be having, and we want to know what we can do to help them. It, the timing, I think, is perfect of having us in December for the simple reason we go into first week of January and it's fresh on our minds and fresh on our stomachs as well. Dean Kirby has represented District 30 in the Mississippi Senate for 30 years now. He says it's important to know the farmer's point of view because they are so important to the economy of the state. To me, it shows stability, it, it shows determination, and it shows that we have some hardworking people in this state that are willing to pay the price, whatever it may be, to feed the people, not just of Mississippi, but of this country. And in Rankin County, its important farm and agriculture policy isn't lost. For cattle producer Steve Gaines, he says this simple meal is important for official and farmer alike. Well, it's important for those that are not on a board. For those people that are just a farmer paying their premium, maybe young farmers that are getting started and they don't maybe even know who their house representative is because they invite all of those people here. We take the overwhelming support that uh, my office has received. Each official got their chance to say a few words, but on this day, it boils down to a simple chance to fellowship and build relationships for the future. It's just build a relationship with the, your local officials and, and state officials, so when issues arrive, if you have a personal relationship with them, it really makes a difference. It's very good. That we, this helps build relationships with our county officials, lets our board get to meet the officials, build relationships, and know who they can go to to talk about ag policy and problems we have out in the county. And the timing is just right, as the state capitol will soon be a flurry of activity for the 2020 legislative session beginning in early January. I think 2% of the country are farmers that feed the other 98%. So. I think it's important for the, the people that are producing the food and, and the fiber for this country to get to meet and have relationships with those people that support us in the legislature. It can be a better time to talk to them about the policy that our members adopted today so our grassroots are heard at the steps of the Capitol. When we have built relationships here and have friendships with our elected officials, uh, it makes it a lot easier for us to communicate with Capitol.